back. You're watching Making India a New Deal for Defence. But today we're coming to you from the hub of the world's manufacturing activity, Beijing, China. The company that we're focused on today is Tata Advanced Systems. And for all its groundbreaking work in the field of aerospace, it has been comfortable maintaining a low profile when it comes to its defence capabilities. Three areas it's fast becoming a byword in include design and setting up of command and control systems for missiles, the indigenous development of mini UAV systems and homeland security. Let's find out more. India has a no holds barred attitude when it comes to its missile development program and Tata Advanced Systems has a big role to play in making this program one to be envied. The company is currently developing for the DRDO, the city-based missile defense mission control center. It is also engaged in building the command and control center for naval aircraft. This command and control system, which will be housed in warships, is being developed in partnership with the Danish firm Terma, where Terma provides the technological know-how. Tata Advanced Systems is also part of the government-to-government -government missile program between India and Israel. This project involves the development and manufacture of MRSAMs, or medium-range surface-to-air missiles and Tata Advanced Systems is responsible for developing the command and control system for this missile. We have three different projects in missiles today and all of these we have actually our the customers are India, Indian, uh, DRDO essentially and uh, we have won against competition from public sector. Uh, both systems as well as structurals. In systems we are the uh, entity that won uh, the bid to make the uh, combat management system for the MRSAM missile system which otherwise is a co-development between Indian government and the Israeli government. Tata Advanced Systems has also undertaken a project involving the limited series production of missile critical military grade flight worthy components for DRDO's long range surface to air missile or LRSAM program. This is being done from an independent facility in Hyderabad. The second project that we again won through a competitive bid is uh, to make what is called the mission control center for another missile system uh, which I believe is confidential from an India perspective uh, but it's uh, again a development which DRDO is uh, pushing forward. And then a third project uh, is where we are making parts of one of the missile systems for, the, for DRDO where the tolerance levels are much more than even for aircraft parts. So it's not for nothing that while Tata Advanced Systems may be the youngest company in the defense sector for the Tata Group, it's the fastest growing. Within the group, its order book stands second only to Tata Motors. Today we have the, uh, as I mentioned, the largest order book, which is close to a billion dollars. That gives us immense strength to think holistically about this business. And uh, I think at the end of the day, it depends upon the value creation. So uh, we as a group uh, are very interested in aerospace and defense. And within that, Tata Advanced Systems is, happens to be the only company that is dedicated 100% to aerospace and defense. But Tata Advanced Systems expertise goes beyond designing a fuselage, an empennage or the odd missile control system. It also undertakes the design, development and manufacture of radar transmit and receive systems for the defense forces, manufactures miniature unmanned aerial vehicles for the Northern Command and assembles and tests complex electro-optics payload UAVs. These payloads are highly sensitive cameras with thermal and night vision capabilities. And then there is the assembly and testing of the third generation night vision devices which it performs in partnership with US major ITT Excellus. If that wasn't enough, Tata Advanced Systems has set up another subsidiary in Delhi. This handles the opportunity thrown up by the country's need for homeland security solutions. But it does not restrict itself to contracts from the Indian government. Currently, it provides homeland security solutions to its group company Tata Chemicals and has bagged a private sector project in Abu Dhabi. Tata Advanced Systems is building its defense capabilities on global partnerships. It believes that these partnerships will allow the company access to critical technology and manufacturing capabilities. After the break, Sajid speaks to Sukharan Singh on what the key challenges the government must address if its Make in India drive is to be successful and the Tata Group's aspirations for India's defense sector are to be realized. 